Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate the love and support. <laughs> Guys, on today's video, it's a different type of video. Today we're going to showcase and see um, the life of a, of a housewife. You know? You know, in our culture, there's so many different cultures from different communities people from different cultures but have you ever known what it is to be as a an African housewife in the village in the remote village so today I'm coming live from a very different area and this is my home for maybe today or maybe for a week I'm not sure about that and in this kind of homestead they have different ways of Yeah, in this homestead, they have different ways of living and I'll be showing you how people live and as you can see, this is the front area of the house and this is the main, this is the main door to the home. There's a radio there, someone is listening and we have, this is just a decoration of the houses and this is how it looks. So this homestead is so, 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 so big really big and you can see up to this other side from the other end there's a house uh, now this is what happened so in this school homestead we have like four men so every man has a wife okay so the other side where we came from the first door where there was a cat there's an, a wife in this window there's a wife and this house there's a wife and we also have this area here we have a new house uh, the, it's a newly made, it, the man just married some time, just not so kitambo here, and we have a dog here. Hi! Yeah, so, uh, that's how homesteads are here in the village. They share the same compound, but you find that even in the same compound, people cook differently. Like these ones, they cook by themselves, these ones, they cook by themselves, the other ones, same way and we have the latrine just outside and this is the fence back here in this homestead and just closer to it you can hear kids playing there's a field and there's a church opposite here so mostly kids go play there you know they play there they do different things and with here there's uh there are two gates so for the people living on this other side we have this gate and on the other side they have the other gate over there so we're going to get from this new one because practically let's say now um this is my side of where i'm supposed to go in and here is the gate so yeah so it's a new house then you can see we have a nice plant here of papai we have a papai here guys and it's closed right now and you can see the papai is really nice it has fruit but the sun is too much i can't see there yeah so this is the inner, this is the inner side <laughs> this is the inner side of the compound from the other side you can see the same flowers here see how beautiful it's made you can see the flowers they're really beautiful the dog is not so used to me so guys the good thing it's tied but you see how furious it is for the visitors yeah so we have here and we have the door to the other side yeah and here is the inner compound so another house will either get built here the one i was telling you about is over there the church you can see the kids are playing they have maybe a like a nursery school over there yeah and this is the mom Oh, 
Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so guys, on this other side, we have a new house being built, you know. So that's the mom, actually. I think I didn't introduce well, but that is the mom of the homestead. Here we have a new house under construction. So whatever it happens, they bring water and the soil, they mold. See, they to mold. <laughs> the mold and you just put it like how he's doing it so you can see it was i i, I wish i would have helped out but not today <laughs> yeah so this is what happens you just take like that yes so guys that is how it is like you just build from scratch the good thing in the village is that we have trees around so you just go cut the branches you put this is how actually it starts so you take you dig the holes down you take one tree and cut it into pieces that you sure you are going to use so after doing that this is how you do it you put these ones you just get water from the river or the well if it's closer and you come mold it then you just put you arrange from down you arrange it like that and it becomes that is the first round yeah so you start by just putting the first one the first face then again you come and put uh, another one to cover the trees again you come with another one until it's heavy it's really heavy and that's how they build the house as you can see the iron sheets are so new they're so new and clean yeah yeah so this is how an african homestead is built and that's how beautiful they come it's a step by step and you end up uh, having a great home people will come and, ad and admire like you can see the one with flowers you can see how beautiful the flowers are are drawn it's just to beautify the compound yeah yeah so this is the life this is life in the homestead and the compound is so big and it's enough for all the sons to get their piece of place where they can they can build their houses you know yeah, i just want to show you from outside how it looks like there's the environment is so cool so this is how it looks from outside you see after putting this one you see it's still wet it's still so wet can you imagine that's how we build our houses that's how this house was built that's how that house was built you just start by putting the first one you see the first one then again you'll come and put the second one the second one you just take like this let me show you and do like this you see it's just after putting like that it's just done so that's how they do and covering the how is it called when covering um the woods these ones the when you're planting yeah maybe i should go help <laughs> i should go help let me go help i can say can just do it it's only that i was feeling like maybe because i'm walking holding the camera i shouldn't do it but let's do it yeah she can him say you can Oh, you You not Guys, that's how we do it. Katayana Kukalisha with the fall again. You never look at you. But eh, do you not go to Maramaja? But no name of Fali, like one that's super than you. Ah, who will it? You may be a yoke to the king's hand. About you, Sharaka, you apply and I figure out that you can 
place, Totem. Yeah, so the, the final product is where you, you now plaster the house. So, and nowadays people believe that this kind of. Eh. Subscribe. <laughs> you see, that's how like it's done. It's a continuous process. When you step, you just step. What I got over there. I so guys this is the process actually you just sit put it like that when it's almost drying you add other yeah. As you can see, we have another house on this other side. So after finishing the other side over there, we we'll come do it here, and we'll complete the whole house. Oh my God, I'm a, I'm already breathing heavily. It's <laughs> it sounds to be a very hard task. My goodness, I won. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Karina, what the hell? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Wambia, 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 so the Kudas Kugan. Today, you are the Kurudia. I'm going to give up the money and look over. I'm going to give up the money. I'm going to give up the money. I'm going to Wow, guys, at least we tried. See, at least I took a good and sabu janitor could have said, by the way, Janet Boke. Tell people your name. My name is Ezekiel Omwengalasha. That's my name. Ezekiel. Yeah, so is the one building here. Oh, oh, Hagacho Soki. Oh, correct. <laughs> yeah, it's the one building here, guys. So, at least I helped.
Unaambiaje watu YouTube? Yes, tell people subscribe. Subscribe YouTube of Janet Boke. Yes. Na wewe waambi. Waambie subscribe. Subscribe. Asema subscribe. Subscribe. Eh, ai rudi ndo wasikie. Subscribe. Lakini amesema vizuri. Subscribe to my channel. Yes, my YouTube channel. Yeah. This is Mama Maombi. You know Maombi. Unajua wanajua Maombi. From Minyere. And we are here chilling at home. Life in our home. And we are constructing. Subscribe. Subscribe. Mr. Dog is now quiet. Well, yeah, guys, anyway, we're just here catching up. I've already shown you a homestead. Yeah, so that's how people in the village interact, talk, we make jokes. Actually, mom, the mom was like, if only I can go back to being a young girl, I, I, won't, I, can, I can't run to get married to anyone's home. And I was asked, and we were like, why? He's saying that you should work hard, get your own money, uh, do your things. This marriage thing uh, is always there. It will be there to stay and it will never go away. Like he was just saying that. So, also when he, she heard me speaking in English, she was like, yes, I love girls who are like that. <laughs> yeah, but that's life. So, this is the pathway, guys, as you can see. The pathway. At home, can you see? This is the farm. This is the toilet. We use outside toilets. Mostly, you find that there's no bathroom, but there's one over there. So when it's there's no bathroom or the weather is good like now, people usually go to the go to the river to take bath, you know. And here we have a farm where we have vegetables we have cowpeas and how comes today i've remembered do you know it's usually so hard for me to remember the name of the local greens that we eat back here in the village yeah so that's cowpeas and i just want to show you this other side oh this is how they make charcoal yeah so when you want to make charcoal you come and bury it on uh, in this kind of a place whereby you Put all the trees that uh, are make charcoal. You you come put them here. Then you light the fire. You cover everything up so that it ends up to be how is it called? It ends up to be charcoal, and that's how we get charcoal. So you don't have to go cut these big trees. You just come collect the trees. You see like these small small branches. Yeah, and then they come to be um, uh, charcoal, and you find out that. One um one full bag of charcoal goes for like maybe ten dollars or more, you know? Yeah, so that's how it is. And this other side we have a coffee plantation. It's still young but it looks like it has already started making fruits. So these are the things that we use as coffee. The compound is really nice, the environment is so quiet. I'm already, I'm already loving it here guys. Yeah, so this is how life in the village is. So, uh, in a daily life of a wife, a housewife in the village, another thing that you do is maybe early in the morning you wake up, clean the house. No, first of all, you go to the farm before doing anything else. Maybe you have somewhere like this, you come uh, do weeding, or you have some plants you have to do, you do plantation, 
Then after that, you go back, open doors for the maybe the kettles. If you have kettles like goats, cows, and all that, you come open for them the door. So after that, um, you clean their houses. Then you go back to the kitchen. You start by taking all the dirty utensils outside because we wash our utensils from outside. Yeah. After taking the utensils outside, you sweep the kitchen, light up the fire, put water on the uh, put water on the fire. So when it's boiling to make porridge, you go outside and clean the utensils. Then you come back, uh, make porridge, serve people drink. Then you wash the utensils. Then maybe if there are some clothes you want to wash, you carry them to the river. You go wash the utensils. You see, after washing the utensils. Um, you come back home, maybe it's already midday, you make lunch for people. Maybe if it's ugali, ugali is made out of maize flour. And you you come maybe in the farm like now, the way they have this kind of vegetable. You see when they have the vegetable, the small, small ones are vegetables. Yeah. So you come pluck the vegetables, you go make lunch. Then after making lunch again, you the people eat, you wash the utensils then. Uh, evening hours is usually mostly for maybe if there's no water in the house you go fetch water in the river or if there's water you go fetch firewood from the forest or these kind of places you come around collecting firewood yeah and we'll be show i'll be showing you that but now that uh we're supposed to help out over there where there's a construction and we also have to cook we won't do much today but I really hope at least you've seen the new homestead that I am in. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. So guys, um, thank you for your time. Did I show you the church? That is a church over there. I don't know if I can go closer, but there are so many kids there. And I don't know if it's safe to put kids on YouTube, more so without their parents' knowledge. Yeah, but there's so many kids over there. As you can see, there's a church. I believe it's almost under construction. Yeah. yeah. So, back home, back to the house. Yes, let's go back and finish it up. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> So find a video up. Yeah. YouTube. Ah. Yeah. Muzuri. Yeah. And if you want to find a pop coin, you can find a gem that you can collect, collect. So find the corner on the shelf with engraving. Okay. Yeah. Come on, you make a video. Janet. Janet. For Kina Moses. Yes. So. Yeah. So guys, that's the big brother. He forgot about. Yeah, but he knows me. He just forgot my name. Yeah. Because, you know, once one thing when you have people who you know, it's not usually every time that you go visit them. So sometimes you might, they might have not seen you for a long time. Maraba. Mambo. Muna Cheza. Cheza to me, Sina Maneno. Maraba. Yeah, so the kids are playing and they're wondering, eh, it's, we don't know this person. Yeah, anyway guys, that's, that is it for, for it. I just wanted to explain because I came here and it made me remember about being a housewife back here in the village, you know. They do a lot of things. Like right now, one has gone for the other house who has gone to to the river to clean up the other one has gone to the market yeah so it's not rare to find them just at home doing nothing they you just keep yourself busy as a housewife because maybe the man has gone out to look to to hustle at least now you should be productive when you're home and that's how it's done yeah so guys anyway let's go finish our video maybe you should go through this area i hope it's safe. Yes. Hiya, you're going to Let's go.
go back. <laughs> the way through there, they just covered it. Yeah. So this is supposed to be a kitchen garden, guys. Here. Yeah, it's supposed to be a kitchen garden. Let's go finish our video with the brothers. The bros. Yeah. so guys anyway thank you so much for watching this video kindly remember to subscribe like share and comment and yes we're just at home i'll see you on the next video bye one beer bye bye see you <laughs> you too <laughs> <laughs> bye guys